years ago. We were doing a van launch or something, and, and this has all been just talked about then. Anyway, here we are, what, a couple of years later, and the, well, the Building for the Future campaign seems to have raised sufficient funds to turn this into quite a fantastic little place. I'm sure those of you who've been here and looked around will, will agree with that. We've had a tricky start to the year, for those of you who know Wessex Cancer Trust. Um, things sort of went a bit awry back end of last year and we had this, uh, this, this crisis appeal, um, which you know about, and which is, sort of did okay, but we've still got some stuff to do, and I'm sure you'll, you'll support us in, uh, in trying to get to our target um, of £600,000. And, uh, you know, we, we know we've got some, some work to do, we've got some events to run. Um, and I'm sure we can do it. You've raised £100,000 for this. <laughs> Why can't we raise that on the mainland? Uh, yeah. It's a no-brainer, really. Mm -hmm. So big thanks to everyone here. I mean, it must have been really tricky for you guys who've been directly involved. I mean, the disruption, the long hours. Mm -hmm. It must have been quite difficult for you. Um, who, who, hands up those who were directly involved. I know Lorraine and Mike. And, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, lots of people, yeah. Now... We had some great events this year. Um, I was, there was the Island Run, Rainbow Run, for forty thousand pounds, thousand people attended. Fantastic. Yeah. A Christmas driving cinema, I'm told. How many people turned up for that? Who went to that? <coughs> what film they show? <laughs> a Christmas film. Six films for the Christmas film. <laughs> I'm not a great Christmas fan. I was born on December 21st, and I feel Christmas stole my birthday. Um, and then a 12 hour cycle thon, or cycle a thon, however you pronounce it, Isle of Wight Radio, raised over £6,000. Um, and I'm told there's a wall here somewhere with some bricks on, and on those bricks are names of people who really went above and beyond the call. And I guess this is the wall of bricks. Are you guys here today? Yeah. yeah, good, brilliant. Now, one of the guys that donated a, a quite a nice, generous chunk to the cyclethon was uh, Mark King, local lad. Three kids. You born in cows? I am, yeah. Yeah, I'm from Norfolk, actually. Isn't right, okay. So you're an islander. I'm an island boy. And you still proud. live on the island? I still live on the island. What, why would you want to live anywhere else? Yeah. I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> My sister-in-law's just moved here. She lives in East Cows, so... Oh, what well, a lovely. Must it's have something, lovely. yeah. Yeah, so a big thank you to everybody, all the volunteers, all the staff. Um, as I said, the disruption we must have, that guys must have gone through to get this thing up and running. It's, it's quite incredible. And we really couldn't have done it without you. And that's, you know, the, the, the Board of Trustees, Mike, Lorraine, everybody who works for Wessex Capital Trust. This is a, a lovely showcase. Um, support centre and you know we have Wessex Cancer Trust has plans we, we do have to start raising the cash our cash flow yeah it's okay but we still need more money we always need more money charities need more money you've only got to look at the press to see how charities are crying out for cash mm -hmm. so um, you know anything you can do on the island to help support us will be uh, greatly appreciated that's for sure so that was it it was worth it wasn't it Yes. Yeah. yes. We all agree it was worth yes. it. Yeah? yeah. And I think a big, big hand must go to, to Mike and to the rain. I mean, the effort they did. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, if you haven't had a look around, then, then please do. Um, I just had a look around, like it's blown my mind. It really has. It's, it's like a five-star hotel in some of these little rooms. Yeah. And if you've got any questions, then you can come and talk to me if you like. But I won't know. Damn thing about the place. So Mike and Lorraine are the ones to, uh, to talk to on that, I'm sure. But if you want to talk about Wessex Cancer Trust, then then catch me or Kate. We're going to be here for a while. Uh, here, there's still some prosecco left. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now I think there's some ribbon cutting to do. Oh, where are they doing it? Through there. Can you can you get any nearer? Oh. Yes. Oh, that. Oh, I love it. And you might be doing. Are you 
<laughs> Mr. Paler. <laughs> I ought to charge for this. We've got the press here to do it. <laughs> I can't see it, unfortunately. No, never mind. Just, just keep it. Please hold it. Just keep it. Oh, this is Lynn's. Yeah. Whatever you can, you can see lots of people in there. Fantastic. I was so delighted when the rain very kindly invited me to come and cut the water today. Because, of course, I've done very little. Um, but as a local lad, and somebody who is so proud of in this centre, um, it gives me enormous pleasure to say Cancer Care Centre is officially open! Thank you guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Do you want to like a drink and have a Yeah, 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 I did. Thank you, Carl. There we are. Carl was... Thank you, Carl, for doing that. <laughs> So folks, here I'm with Patricia, one of the fundraisers from the Go Live Granny community, and we're here helping them celebrate the revamping of their, um, their what, what do you call this event? A revamping of? I don't know what it was called. Oh, look. Refurbishment. Refurbishment, that's right. And they're, look, they're bringing cakes. <laughs> I'm going to go now, folks. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.